Asanga, Tibetan, Wiley, Thogs Med, traditional Chinese, Wuzhu Pinyin, Wuzhu, Romaji, Mujaku, Florida, 4th century CE, was a major exponent of the Yogacara tradition in India, also called Vijnanavada. Traditionally, he and his half brother Vasubandhu are regarded as the founders of this school. The two half brothers were also major exponents of Abhidharma teachings. Early life Asanga was born as the son of a Kshatriya father in Purusapura present-day Peshawar in Pakistan, which at that time was part of the ancient kingdom of Gandhara. Current scholarship places him in the 4th century CE. He was perhaps originally a member of the Mahasaka school or the Mullasarvastavada school but later converted to Mahayana. According to some scholars, Asinga's frameworks for Abhidharma writings retained many underlying Mahasaka traits. Andre Barrow writes, It is sufficiently obvious that Asanga had been a Mahasaka when he was a young monk, and that he incorporated a large part of the doctrinal opinions proper to this school within his own work after he became a great master of the Mahayana, when he made up what can be considered as a new and Mahayanist Abhidharma Pit aka. In the record of his journeys through the kingdoms of India, Xuanzang wrote that Asanga was initially a Mahasaka monk, but soon turned toward the Mahayana teachings. Asanga had a half-brother, Vasubandhu, who was a monk from the Sarvastivada school. Vasubandhu is said to have taken up Mahayana Buddhism after meeting with Asanga and one of Asanga's disciples. Meditation and teachings Asanga spent many years in serious meditation, during which time tradition says that he often visited Tuzi to heaven to receive teachings from Maitreya Bodhisattva. Heaven such as Tuzi to heaven is said to be accessible through meditation, and accounts of this are given in the writings of the Indian Buddhist monk Paramatha, who lived during the 6th century CE. Xuanzang tells a similar account of these events. In the great mango grove five or six li to the southwest of the city Ayodhya, there is an old monastery where a Sangha Bodhisattva received instructions and guided the common people. At night he went up to the place of Maitreya Bodhisattva in Tuzita heaven to learn the Yogacarabhumi Sastra, the Mahayana Sutra Alamkara Sastra, the Madhyanta Vibhaga Sastra, etc. In the daytime, he lectured on the marvelous principles to a great audience. Asanga went on to write many of the key Yogacara treatises such as the Yogacarabhumi Sastra, the Mahayana Samgraha and the Abhidharma Samukhaya as well as other works, although there are discrepancies between the Chinese and Tibetan traditions concerning which works are attributed to him and which to Maitreya, according to Walpola Rahula, the thought of the Abhidharma Samukhaya is invariably closer to that of the Pali Nikayas than is that of the Theravadan Abhidhamma. Topic. Questions of authorship The Tibetan tradition attributes authorship of the Ratnagotravabhaga to him, while the Chinese traditions attributes it to a certain Southiramati or Saramati. Peter Harvey finds the Tibetan attribution less plausible. <laughs> 